Hi, Brian Hawkins here, Next Step Survival, and today I have the first video of my new pack series. It's where I'm going to go over my various packs, my bug out bag, my get home pack, my EDC pack, which is what this video is, maybe even my first aid pack and whatever else I can dig up. I like the, I like gear, I like to put packs and survival kits and that type of stuff together. And over the years, that's caused a little bit of a issue when it comes to trying to stay a little bit gray man so this edc pack was my solution to that tendency right so it's a little too heavy it's a little too tactical it's got too much in it it's got too much hanging off of it and i just don't care at this point because this was my solution to that tendency to buy that type of gear it's not a i'm not going to be carrying it home in a shtf type of event or anything like that and it goes from vehicle to vehicle. I don't carry it around the store on my shoulder or anything like that. So I just went all out. I didn't hold back on it. And it's a project that's been going on for a little over seven years with this particular pack. And uh, you know, let's be keep. This is my get home pack. So you, you don't see all that. You see a hat. And everything's pretty much gray man, if you will. So just a couple real quick points before I get started on the video. I did take that wrap wallet off of there. I've already recorded the video. It's just the intro. And I did end up taking that off. It's a little awkward and ugly and stuff. And there's no point in having it on just because I own it, right? So I pulled that off. And also, I failed to show you some money that was in that pack or is, is in that pack. Out of sight, out of mind type of thing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little clip at the end of the video I recorded showing where and how I store that money hidden within the pack and probably shouldn't you know for you know obvious reasons but I will because that's just what we do here and there was a little bit more money in there than I thought so I pulled some of that money out for I'd rather have cash like that in more of that in a bug out bag or even here at home in the safe rather than carrying around because as I mentioned, it's easy. It'll be easy for somebody to steal that pack, and it's going to hurt that much worse if there's a few hundred dollars <laughs> to walk away with the pack. But I won't ramble on. I'll get started. Let me know in the comments uh, if if you got any ideas from this video or what else you'd like to see or anything like that. Yeah, I'm with the show. All right, the ultimate EDC pack loadout. I think I'll use a different pack, though. That's funny, right? So what I'm using right now is this Maxpedition Mongo Versa Pack, which I believe is the largest sling bag that Maxpedition uses. I bought this pack in 2016, so I've had it for a little over seven years. It's a little dirty. Not a lot of wear on it, actually. Or something that's carried around and thrown into vehicles for seven years off and on. I've switched back and forth on several occasions, but I always end up coming right back to this. And it's grown over the years because I keep adding and upgrading. And next thing you know, you end up with this 25 pound sling bag. So I'll just start going over the outside real quick. I upgraded the zipper pulls using paracord, little projects I found on YouTube. I also have some of the Maxpedition zipper pools, large and small, and I paracorded the handle. I thought this would be the first thing to give out when I first bought this. The stitching on the handle and the weight that it's, it's held up, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it. I'll start out with two of the most awkward additions, which as you can see, the strap is extremely long because I have an extension on there. These two packs here make it a little bit awkward to carry around. But this is the Janus expansion pack. This actually unclips here and here, and then you can put that together with that off. So that just adds to the length, eight to 13 inches, I believe it says. And inside of here, I just keep my Expedition wallet, and it's attached with this retractable keychain with a little magnet connector on the end so I can grab my wallet, take some stuff out of it without setting it down or dropping it or whatever. And inside here, I just keep some extra um, cards, 
a little bit of cash for me just so I could just like eleven dollars in there. I don't keep a lot of money in. This is not the most secure solution. These are just items that I would maybe need but not carry on my person every day because I don't use them every day. This is uh they don't make this anymore, my expedition. This is a rat wallet. It's ugly as sin. It's awkward. So that's probably why I have the uh an expedition zoop and pool on there too. This is just my bathroom kit. A lot of this is redundancy. So it's like a refill type of thing. So because I keep some of the stuff in on my person as you if you watched my last video. A little bit of TP and a Ziploc bag. Some towels, the little uh, coin towels to expand when you get them wet. There's nothing in there. Some quick grab dude wipes, wet ones. And then that's all that's in here as well. And a little mesh. Am I still in a, yeah, let me make sure I'm still in that camera. Little mesh bag I got somewhere. Oh, Anchor. So it came with one of the Anchor products I bought with this high tech clip right here. You have a hard time finding these clips because they're probably made by NASA or something. Actually, they're everywhere right and it's just full of the same thing dude wipes wet ones and eyeglass cleaners bathroom kit my truck driver public bathrooms are my nightmare next is the maxpedition tactical can case i'm not sure why they call it that i have it attached with a couple of maxpedition clips here two different colors i'm not sure why and I have a Gopher Wild rechargeable headlamp. This is the one with the, uh, the cob light and the, uh, the sensor where you can, something moves in front. So I'll move my hand in front of my, my forehead and, and it'll click on. I have six of these. They come in packs of two. The first one I bought worked very well for, I don't know, over a year. So I bought a couple more. Next is the Maxpedition Gear Cocoon Pouch. I have this attached to the right side of the pack and zipper pull, and then just a pair, spare pair of glasses in a in a hard case. To the right of that, I have Maxpedition EDC pocket organizer. I can't believe that stayed like that. And inside here, I have some nitrile gloves inside of a little bag, baggy Ziploc. Ah, I guess it didn't stay like that. Stay, Max. Oh, that's that's his name, Max. This is just part of my first aid kit. Nothing special here. To start with, I have just those Rayleigh bandage, Q-tips, band-aids, assorted band-aids, tweezers. Inside here are just some safety pins. Z-fold dressing. Back here I have some quick clot. It's just cheap three compartment pill holder with some pain pain meds, more nitro gloves, and some gauze wrap. That's it for that. So this is, what is this? This is the Olight, Olight iMini 2 EDC rechargeable flashlight. This has a little USB connection. It's hard to see on the tip of that. So this just plugs into a charger or charging bank. And it's got a magnetic end and you just take, you can open it up a little bit and it'll pop on. And then, or you can just completely remove it. It's got a magnetic end, but it, it's activated just by pulling on it. Behind that, I just have this Maxpedition, or no, this is, yeah, Maxpedition radio pouch. All I keep in there is North American Rescue cat tourniquet, and then a cheap pair of trauma shears. And behind that, sandwiched all in the middle, side pouch. So that's actually part of the pack. And I have my little paracord zipper ties and that goes down but not all the way around and in, uh, inside here I have some more pressure dressing some stretch wrap stretch gauze I have two of these 
two Narcan nasal sprays. And then behind that, and it's, it's got a little, it's hard to see, but it's got a little pocket back there. That's where that was crammed in there. And behind that, it's got this little slit pocket built into the pack. I just put this little bag. It's easy to pull out with, with it strapped into a little pouch like this, a little drawstring pouch. And inside here, I have some first aid tape, some that's actually cloth tape. Band aids and uh, alcohol pads, just some pain relievers, cold medicines. This is uh, Tylenol and ibuprofen. And then one day, inside this little pill case, a one day supply of my meds in case I forget to take them. It's mostly vitamins. And also built into the Maxpedition Mongo Versa Pack is this radio pouch. And I did keep a Bofeng radio in there and it will hold a Bofeng, but this is the EDC pack. So I ended up putting this Sabre Crossfire Pepper Gel a large one in there just for non-lethal defense type of thing. And behind all of this, a semi-hidden compartment at the base of the strap. And here I have a carbon steel fixed blade. It has a fire steel, a little cheap sharpener on there. And in the back, thanks to Dave Canterbury, I have a sail needle taped to the back of that. The only thing I have on the grab handle is a gear aid hero clip. This helps with if I want to hang it. So if you want to hang the pack. On the left side of the pack, I have a cheap pair of gloves, same ones I carry on my person, the EDC video that I just did. Cheap pair of gloves. Held on with this glove holder, hand sanitizer inside this little paracord wrap bottle. That was done by a friend of mine. Just a hat held on with a little Night Eyes S beaner. That's it for that. Inside of here, in the back, tucked away, and I'm going to pull that out. Or maybe I will. But it's just a waist strap that goes around it in case you want to carry it a long distance, which I have no intention of doing. The pack has a pretty ample water bottle holder. It's got the Velcro strap. What I have in there right now, and I just, this is a new upgrade, it's full of water, but it's a Yeti. And I upgraded this with this Madoc cap. So that's pretty cool, right? And just magnet holds that so you don't drop your lid to your container and then the, you know, to fill it up you can twist the whole top off of it. But it I use uh, use this every day and it keeps the water cold. But you can see that's a pretty big water bottle holder and it holds the clean canteen 40 ounce with no issue. Large nan Nalgene. And also I have Nalgene I think it was a 32 ounce stainless steel. So it accepts all the large water bottles with no problem. And the last thing I have on the outside of the pack keeper here, and all I do is when I'm moving from my truck or my car to my truck, I just clip those keys there. So I'm not carrying them on my person. So the Versa pack has a concealed carry compartment. If it wasn't stuffed so full, it would be a little bit less obvious, but there it is. I don't carry inside of a, a pack. I carry on my person. But I do have a spare mag with a belt holster. The back side of the concealed carry is lined with this hook and loop. I have this Maxpedition Universal Carry, I guess, I don't know, holster. I have a little Maxpedition 3x5 Velcro pouch. And inside of that, I just have, I think it's called Perfect Pie tape measure that I sometimes use for work. And then some Surefire Sonic earplugs. Down at the bottom, 
had a life straw, the, the newer life straw with the life straw case. And I forgot the last thing that I keep inside this concealed carry compartment. Oh, actually, there's another thing in there. But it's, it's this little master lock. This just runs through and tightens so you can adjust it. When I get into my vehicle, that's why I had to go get this out of my, my car. I will lock this as well as my get home pack to the vehicle. It's not the most secure method. It's not going to stop any a professional or anybody determined enough to, to cut the cable or just cut the straps or just open it up and take the stuff out. But it, maybe it'll slow them down to where I can hear the alarm and maybe get out there before I lose everything. Also in here that I almost forgot was, this is just my Kindle Fire. I have a Kindle Paperwhite coming. We're supposed to have it Thursday, but Amazon dropped a ball on that, so now I'm waiting. Up at the top of the pack is this long zippered pouch. And inside of here, I just have a one tigress tactical glass eyeglass holder holding my prescription sunglasses and another, another microfiber towel. Inside here is just fingertip halt ox meter some spare batteries, AA and AAA. And the last thing in there is just a little extra first aid, quick grab and go. And the last outside pouch is just the, I don't know what it's called, but it's a, a lid pouch, I guess. It goes both in the front and underneath everything. So there's nothing down here. A little light my fire titanium spork. Some gum because I like gum and some snack bars and that's all I have in there. No, it's not. Oh, I didn't even realize that was in there. It's a little glad hand grommet for if you drive a truck, you understand what that's for. And if I have any documents or papers or any extra thing that I need to carry, that's usually where I'll toss it in the compartment. Got this front open pouch. So it's open, but it's you know the lid itself is the only thing keeping it secure inside that little admin area it's got the hook and loop right here as well i have a recycled firefighter notebook cover with some field notes in there inside there i have a little olight bolt action pin and i have a little fresno lens behind that and then a few blank index cards just for if i have to leave a note for somebody i'm not ripping paper out of my notebook this is Velcroed in here as well. Wow, is that hard to get out of there. <laughs> a little uh, Velcro organizer. I have a little right in the rain. Fisher space pen. The, the G2, Pilot G2s that I like. Highlighter. Chisel point. Sharpie. Fat marker. Use that for work all the time. And then a little micro screwdriver for eyeglass repair i think i have two of those in this pack okay for the first main inside pouch zippered pouch it's also lined with the loop panel on the, the back side and then it has a long pocket on the front and inside here i just have a little olight rechargeable flashlight you'll see a theme going on here of a little flashlight on most of the pouches and pockets and stuff just for convenience inside the first pouch is a heavy but very heavy duty sheffield multi-tool with pliers i would like to upgrade this to the leatherman wave with the tools with the with the bit set i'll eventually get there but for right now this is it inside the second one is streamlight protac dual fuel so this takes CR123s, double A's, lithium or alkaline. So you can run double A's or, or the 123s in this flashlight. So that's why I got it. This is probably the only one that in the pack that's not rechargeable. Side here, it's just a SOG folding knife. Nothing special about that, just a cheap pocket knife. Tactical pin. Uh, somebody sent me this, I think, in the mail. It's the only reason it's in there. Just as a side note, if you have this in your pocket and you hurt somebody with this in a fight or something, uh, I think a prosecutor is going to have a field day with anything like that. You'd be better off to have something that's more realistic in your pocket, in my opinion. I'm not a lawyer. 
It's just a cheap emergency whistle. Some titanium tweezers, tweezerman, nail clippers. And then I showed this on my um, person EDC, but this just big glider with this cheap waterproof cover with some Gorilla tape wrapped around it and some cordage. That should be it for that. Oh, no, it's one more thing. Oh, my Carmex. So my Carmex inside of Ziploc bag. That should be it. The next inside panels is a little bit smaller. Zipper, zipper compartment. But I, as you can see, I got a lot crammed in there. This is my survival pack. I'll show you this in a second. I use this Max Edition cocoon pouch. Again, with a retractable keychain. That's the second one in this kit. And all this is the spare uh, keys that I may need, but I'm not using every day, so it's not going to be on my person. And I'm using this Maxpedition. I don't know what it's called. It's all in the write-up in the blog post. Links to everything is in the blog post. P38, that's it. Maxpedition 5x7, another one. And inside of here, I shouldn't be showing up by that. There's a little tracker inside that Velcro. So if somebody does get off with my bag, maybe I can find it, or find them before they discover that. And inside of here, I just have a little tools, some bits, a little bit for driver, zip ties, tiny little titanium pair of scissors. And for the survival pouch, it's the Maxpedition Gear Beefy Pocket Organizer. And this is unnecessary for this pack. Most of this is unnecessary, to be honest, but it's just what I do. And I just have a big lighter. Inside here is another sail needle. Never needed a sail needle, and now I have two of my EDC packs, so there you go. It's just a straw. Heat up the ends, take a pair of needle nose or pliers, your multi-tool, and close it up when it's still hot and protects you from the pokiness of your needle. A little light, my fire, fire steel, cheap little flashlight. Inside of here, I have some zip fire starters with some inside this mesh compartment, a little bit of birch bark from I grabbed up when I was hiking. And between those two, I can probably get a fire started. I also have this little wet fire tender mylar emergency blanket. It was tucked in here. That's it for that. Here I just have some tarred bank line. And then some paracord, a little tiny little hank of that. And here I got some duct tape wrapped around somebody's business card. Some gorilla tape. And this is wrapped around this thing here, that some little pocket tool that somebody sent me. And then inside there I have a couple of double-edged razor blades. Inside this pill pouch is some 100 pound test micro line water purification tabs, six of them. Inside this Ziploc baggie, obviously, is some waterproof matches. This is just a double sided mirror. Bandana, sun toe, hiking uh, compass with some pace beads. To practice and play around with that and just a trash bag and that's it now for the main compartment this should be the last compartment so it's got a pretty big main compartment in there it advertised seven and a half liters just in the main compartment and inside that tied to this little paracord keychain sun company burrow meter so the pack knows how cold it is in there and then this cheap little cob light rechargeable. I have two pouches in here. I'll go into those in a minute. At the bottom, I just have a Ziploc bag with some spare underwear and a pair of socks. So inside the lighting and Bluetooth pouch, which is what I call it, is a Maxpedition beefy pocket organizer. In here, I just this is just some extras. Again, a little nano light from Dreamlight. Uh, just some spare charging cables and inside here are the EBL rechargeable batteries. These fit the 18650 flashlight right there and these are pretty cool because it's hard to see but 
you just plug the cable right in, right to the battery. No charger needed. So I thought that was cool. So a lot of what I buy is just because I thought it was cool. That's it for the left side. This is just a cheap 18650. This was from Survival Hacks. I don't know if they're still around or not. Let's get the battery in there. This takes three AAAs for the 18650. All this is just cheap stuff that I would use. This is a little Blue Parrot 12 volt adapter for car charging for my Blue Parrot noise canceling trucker headset. But behind that, I have those Soundcore Bluetooth earbuds. And then tied into this right here, this is a recent addition an Olight Baton 3 with the charging box. Pretty decent little flashlight. I just keep it in the charging box. It's got the, the C port on it. And we're nearing the end. So the last one is my phone and charging pouch. And I probably should upgrade this maybe to the beefy because this is crazy full. I can't believe it's still holding up, but it is Maxpedition. And it is the Maxpedition Skinny Pocket Organizer. I have notes. I have a couple of different spare phones that are activated with service and everything. And my EDC is where I keep one and my bug out bag is the other. So there's a spare phone in there. I have this Anchor 20,000 mega amp hour dual charging power brick here. I have a video coming soon on these. I've upgraded all of them to Anchor because they've, they've done me well over the years. The cables are all on this one here are upgraded. They're all high speed, data, high speed or high data or whatever you call it. These night eyes, I bought these years ago. And it's not even clear anymore. This, these little lights have probably had them longer than the pack, the the Maxpedition. Anyway, so then I have this fifty two and a half watt car adapter. And this one has eighteen and twelve. So it's a 30 watt household power blocks. By the way, there's so many items on here that I can't link to these below the video. It won't allow me to put that much text on there. So I had to just go with a blog post. And this is a cheap little C to everything, right? So it's C to micro and C to C and then C to iPhone if you use one of those. And then it has a place to put your little SIM cards and micro SD cards. So I had this cheap little zipper pouch. I just have some extras of the same. The Samsung flash drive right here. I have survival articles and manuals on there. And this is a Samsung flash drive. I think it's called the Samsung Bar Plus. This is encrypted with personal documents. Inside here, I have a data blocker, actually a couple. C and USB in case I have to use like a public charger or something to charge my phone. And then it's got the little, little micro SD reader. I like the idea that you can use those readers on your phones now. You don't have to carry a laptop around with you. And then the adapters. And this is the one for the, the phone. So a little, little micro card reader with the C port. And this is my spare phone. And it's inside this cheap Faraday pouch, which I have to tell you, it's garbage. I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend it at all. It's basically in there to tell protected at this point. I tested it. I can track my phone while it's in here. I can call my phone while it's in here. My wife can see where I'm at when it's in here. Um, so yeah, it doesn't work. Maybe to keep, you know, help keep it dry or something. Just a spare, spare phone. That's all that is. That's it. I believe I've covered it all. We, ladies and gentlemen, are done with the Ultimate EDC Pack. What a mess. So I hope it gave, I gave you some ideas. I wouldn't recommend anybody carry all of that. Like I said, I carry this 25 to 50 feet at the most. Vehicle to vehicle. I have no intention of walking home with this. If something happened and I was 20 miles away, I'd grab my get home pack and i with the time, money, and the way I value this pack, I would probably 
try to stash this, cache it away somewhere, hide it, and hopefully maybe get back to it some other day. It wouldn't just leave it and walk away. This is not a get home pack and it's not an EDC pack. So I just want to make that clear. It's overkill. It's ridiculous. But it was so fun to make. And I'm not done. I've already ordered some upgrades to it. And, you know, the thing is, it's stuff so full, I have to take something out to put something in because I'm not adding any more outside pouches or hanging anything else off of it because it's just ridiculous. But that's it. I hope I gave you an idea or two if you stuck with me through it. I appreciate it. Brian Hawkins, Next Step Survival. We're out.